Hello my dear student, welcome back to our DRR class week 6. Today is another God-given day for us to discover new learnings that will help us understand better the world we live in. So may I invite you for a moment of prayer as we start our learning discussion. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, your name above every other name, we praise you. We pray that your name is blessed now and forever, in good times and in bad, from east to west. Your name is worthy of praise. Your name is powerful. Your name rules over the nations. Your glory is higher than the heavens. Your name is beautiful. Let us praise the name of the Lord together. To Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. In the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hello once again, I am your subject teacher, and here are my contact details if you need it. Feel free to communicate respectfully. Filipinos are exposed to the hazard of typhoons due to our location in the tropics and exposed to the hazard of volcanic eruptions and earthquakes because the country is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. A hazard only becomes a disaster due to misinformation and lack of preparation. Therefore, disasters should be viewed not as a cause but as a result of our own negligence. How can people contribute to disaster risk reduction efforts of the country? Let us learn more about this. This week, we will learn the disaster readiness and risk reduction efforts of our government and how can we contribute on it. Are you motivated to know more about this? Let's go! For today's learning session, here are our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to first Discuss the key concepts, principles, and elements of disaster risk reduction. Second, recognize the importance of disaster risk reduction on one's life. Third, discuss different community-based practices for managing disaster risk to specific hazards. And lastly, develop a community preparedness plan. Disaster risk reduction should be viewed as a product of a choices that a person makes as an individual or as a part of larger community. It is therefore important that disaster risk reduction should be taken seriously by all stakeholders. Let us know the role to play and what actions are expected of on all concerned individuals and groups in reducing effects of disasters in the country. The destruction caused by Typhoon Yolanda in Leyte is not apparently something that is not one at all. Two documented events in the past show that Leyte is prone to the disastrous effects of typhoon and storm surges. Armed with this knowledge, how can we prevent another severe loss of life due to a storm from happening again? How can modern technology be used to lessen casualty brought about by disasters? Despite the uncontrollable nature of hazards, an effective disaster readiness, disaster risk reduction management will reduce their impact to our lives. Let us learn more about disaster risk reduction management as we continue our lesson. Moreover, disaster happens when people are unprepared to face a natural hazard. We should focus on disaster reduction and not just on disaster response. Disaster risk reduction is a systematic approach to identify, assess, and reduce the risk of disasters. The government has shifted its efforts from merely disaster response to disaster reduction and management. The focus is shifted to mitigation efforts to lessen the impact of disasters 
rather than on the response alone. Preparations now include educating people of the hazards that they face and the risks they, they will experience when exposed to the... may be less likely hit by tsunami but it can be exposed to other hazards like earthquake or flooding among others. A well-developed community-based DRRM plan includes the following. First, an understanding of the real-life situation of the community. Second, participation of the community in disaster risk assessment. Third, participation of the community in the actual DRRM. RM planning. Fourth, managing of the implemented DRRM plan. And lastly, vigilant monitoring and evaluation of the DRRM plan. Therefore, the leaders of a community such as political or religious leaders or heads of a community must be consulted. The local response teams along with the local business or cooperative leaders with their business continuity plans must be involved. Likewise, communities must have an active role in the development of DRRM plan in their locality. The development of an emergency plan should be done with the whole family. 
it is necessary to test the emergency plan so that everyone will know the roles and responsibilities. In emergency preparedness, there is a process. First, you make a plan. Second, you build your survival kit and always be informed. The government can only do so much to help its people prepare for an emergency situation. Some people think that it is the sole responsibility of the government to come to their rescue once a disaster strikes, which is not the case. It is important that everyone understands the necessity of having an emergency plan. Having an emergency plan is already a big step toward becoming resilient to disasters. A good emergency plan is basically composed of three parts. First, it contains the steps that should be done in preparation for an emergency and in making a family ready. Second, it contains the details on what to do during the emergency. Perform a bandaging and carry return demonstration and create a narrative and reflection. I will further uh, discuss and iterate this during our synchronous discussion. Okay? Hello once again. Let us read this life code from Robin Morgan. Knowledge is power. Information is power. The secreting or hoarding of knowledge or information may be an act of tyranny camouflage as hum humility. In relation to our lesson, what is the importance of being knowledgeable in bandaging and carry in your, in your daily life? You can put your insight in the attendance check of your SMU LMS account. Let us now have our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we come to the end of our time together, we thank you for what has been accomplished here today. May the matters discussed serve as a catalyst to move us forward and cause us to advance and see growth in all areas of our lives. May we live here recognizing you are God of all wisdom and you are willing to lead us forward. This we pray in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Then the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello. Once again, for the mode of submission of your outputs, you can communicate with me through our FB Messenger or our class group chat for academic purposes. Submit your academic requirements in the SMU LMS on time. Feel free to keep in touch always. 
May Mary, our mother and patroness, inspire you always. God bless and keep safe always. See you in our synchronous meeting. Goodbye! Kamsamira!